Diversity Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Two more colleges begin their campaigns tonight. At this stage in proceedings, victory guarantees a place in the next round and a losing score of 115 points or fewer guarantees an abrupt exit. The four losing teams with the highest scores at the end of the first round qualify for further playoffs. Now, Jesus College, Cambridge, rose from the ashes of a local nunnery after its dissolution in 1496 on the grounds of incompetence and intemperance. Bishop John Alcock took over its buildings and converted them into a college. And what is now the college chapel is believed to be the oldest university building in Cambridge still in use. Alumni include the author Lawrence Stern and the poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge, and more recently the historian Lisa Jardine. Representing around 800 students with an average age of 22, let's meet the Jesus team. Hi, I'm Josh Kay. I'm from North West London and I'm studying maths. Hi, I'm Juliet Tyndall. I'm from Birmingham and I'm studying Spanish and Portuguese. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Hamish McGregor. I'm from Cambridge and I'm studying for a PhD in cancer genetic epidemiology. Hi, I'm Samir Agarwal. I'm from London and I'm studying engineering. St Catharines is Oxford's youngest and largest undergraduate college founded in 1962 on the banks of the River Charwell. The entire main building complex was designed by the Danish architect Arne Jakobsen right down to the choice of fish in the ponds and includes the only Grade 1 listed bike shed in the UK. Notable graduates include the actor Emilia Fox, the author Jeanette Winterson and the theatre critic Michael Billington, representing just over 900 students with an average age of 25. Let's meet the team from St Catharines. Hello, I'm Peter Olive from West Berkshire. I'm writing a DPhil thesis on the intellectual history of the incest taboo in Greek antiquity. Hello, I'm Tom Naskowski from Archway in North London, and I'm studying history. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Ollie Spacey. I'm from Workshop in Nottinghamshire, and I'm reading for an integrated master's in biology. Hi, I'm Holly Partis. I'm from just outside Oxford, and I'm studying English and French. Well, you all know the rules by now. Starter questions are solo efforts. Bonuses are team efforts. So, fingers on the buzzers. Let's start here. The Battle of the Trench and the Battles of Uhud and Badur were events during the lifetime of which religious... St Catherine's Laskowski. The Prophet Muhammad. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on literary works whose titles contain the same short word. Name each work from the description. Firstly... Meg Wollitzer's novel about the secret kept by the married couple Joe and Joan Castleman, played by Glenn Close and Jonathan Price in the 2017 film adaptation. Any idea? 2017. 2017, not sure. No clue. Okay. I don't know. Sorry, we don't know. It was the wife. Curtis Sittenfeld's novel about the fictional First Lady Alice Blackwell. It's loosely based on the life of Laura Bush. It contains wife. The mm. first wife? The first right. wife, you yeah. think? Maybe. Right. The first wife? That's the American wife. A poem by Chaucer narrated by Alice Soon, an outspoken and independent woman married and widowed five times since the age of 12. The wife of Bath's Bath. tale. The, um, Bath. Nominate Partis. The wife of Bath's tale. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. First articulated by a co-founder of Intel in 1965, what eponymous trend or law... <laughs> Jesus Agarwal. Moore's Law. Moore's Law is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on animals that appear in the names of Major League Baseball teams. Give the name of the animal from the description. Firstly, a family of thick-billed and often brightly coloured North American songbirds. The red-crested northern species is particularly distinctive. The team that bears this name most recently won the World Series in 2011. Like Toronto mm -hmm. Blue Jays or something? That could be that. Got nothing else. The Blue Jays. No, it's the Cardinals. The large carnivorous marine fish characterised by a prominent dorsal fin and long spike at the snout. Species include the Blue, Black and Striped. This franchise won the World Series in 1997 and 2003. Like a shark or...? Barracuda, maybe? Swordfish. Swordfish? Is that one? 
Is that a Major League Baseball team? Then? I don't think it's so. Dolphins, yeah. Major League Baseball team. I think it might. Go for it. Dolphins. No, it's Marlins. Finally, a descriptive term that follows Western in the common name of the venomous reptile Crotalus atrox. The franchise with this name won the World Series in 2001, its fourth season. Anything? No, I don't. No. Western. The alligators. Yeah, go yeah. On. <laughs> I don't think it is. No, I didn't no, think about that. Alligators. That's Diamondbacks. Ten points for this. What body of water in northwest England appears in the title of a 2020 drama directed by Michael Samuels? It concerns child survivors of the Holocaust. Jesus K. Windermere. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on locations in central Scotland. Which Scottish city gives its name to a numerical grading system described by Teasdale and Jennet in 1974? The system concerns the level of consciousness of patients Glasgow. with acute brain injury. Glasgow. 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 Mm -hmm. Glasgow. Glasgow is correct. What textile pattern of bright colours and densely packed motifs bears the name of the town to the west of Glasgow where it was made into shawls in the 19th century? Paisley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paisley. Paisley is correct. Incorporating the name of a town to the west of Paisley, what is the only naturally occurring mineral containing a notable amount of cadmium? West of Paisley. What's in the West? <laughs> I don't know. Kinross. Kinross. It's Grinnikite. Right, we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture start, you'll see a photograph of a UK city centre together with the city's location. Simply name the city for ten points. Jesus Angerwall. Coventry. Coventry is correct. You saw Coventry's Bullyard Shopping Centre there, which topped the 20th Century Society's 2021 list of buildings at risk. It aims to preserve exemplary modern architecture from demolition. Your bonuses are three more buildings on that list. I want you to name the city or town in which each is located. First, this concert hall, which the Society describes as the centre of an unrealised grand civic scheme. Is this... Is that Dolby? Nottingham? I don't think that's not an exact no, it's Derby. Yeah, go. Yeah. Sure. Derby. It is Derby, yes. Secondly, these council offices described as a major monument to post-war modernism. That's in Shropshire. That's in Shropshire. So Shrewsbury? Could be Shrewsbury. Mm -hmm. Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury is correct. And finally, this civic centre. Uh, what's um, Swansea? But is that, is that a city? Uh, no. Swansea. Swansea? Yeah, Swansea. Yeah, I think Swansea. Swansea. Swansea is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. The German mathematician Georg Cantor introduced what Hebrew letter, followed by... Jesus K. Aleph. Aleph is correct. <laughs> you get three questions on women in the Bible. Which book of the Old Testament is named after a Moabite woman who adopts the religion of her Israelite mother-in-law, saying, your people will be my people and your God my God? Is that Ruth? I think so, yeah. Ruth. Ruth is correct. In Genesis, Jacob is tricked into marrying Leah, the sister of which woman, whom he eventually also marries, after seven more years of labour for her father Laban? Rachel. Rachel. Rachel is correct. The name of which female prophet appears in the title of a song in Chapter 5 of the Book of Judges is considered one of the oldest pieces of Hebrew poetry? Um... Deborah, perhaps. Deborah, Esther. Um, I, think, I don't think it's Esther. It could be Deborah. Deborah. Deborah is correct. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Quote, in the field of world policy, I would dedicate this nation to the policy of the good neighbour. Who spoke those words in his US presidential... Jesus K. FDR. FDR is correct. <laughs> Roosevelt. Three questions on recently published memoirs. Which Indian actor wrote the 2021 memoir, Unfinished? She made her Bollywood debut in The Hero in 2003 and her English-language films include a 2021 adaptation of The White Tiger. Is that Priyanka Chopra? I haven't got yeah, anything I think, that's I think it is. Yeah. Priyanka Chopra. Correct. Unbound is a 2021 memoir by which US activist, now widely credited as the founder of the Me Too movement, she began promoting use of the phrase 
to raise awareness in 2006 as part of her work with survivors of sexual violence. Rose McGowan. Rose McGowan. Yeah, could be. Could be. Rose McGowan. No, it's Tarana Burke. Unprotected is a 2021 memoir by which US actor? He originated the role of Lola in the musical version of Kinky Boots and more recently played Pray Tell in the television drama Pose. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Sauce. Pass. It was Billy Porter. Ten points for this. In geology, what term may follow Ethiopian, Canadian and Baltic to denote a large, stable area of Precambrian rock? In a military sense, the same word indicates a protection device such as a targe, buckler or scutum. Jesus McGregor. Shield. Shield is correct. These bonuses are on words that contain all five vowels once and once only. Give each word from the definition. Firstly, a unit of energy equivalent to one billion or ten to the power of nine newton metres. The five vowels occur in the order I-A-O-U-E. Gigajoule. Yes. Yeah. Gigajoule. Gigajoule is correct. Secondly, a lanthanide element first discovered in 1885. Its name comes from the Greek for green twin. The five vowels occur in the order A E O I U. Praseodymium? Uh, Praseodymium, yeah. A E, yeah. Praseodymium. Correct. And finally, an adjective meaning restraint in relation to food or drink. The five vowels occur in alphabetical order. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to think of it. No, sorry, pass. It's abstemious. Ten points for this. Based on a novel by Paolo Lintz, what film directed by Katia Lund and Fernanda... Jesus Tindall. City of God. City of God is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on space exploration. Give the single word name of the US robotic vehicle that landed in the Gale Crater on Mars in August 2012. Curiosity. Curiosity. Correct. The Curiosity team dedicated the landing site to which US author who died in 2012? His works include The Martian Chronicles and The Illustrated Man. Good guess. Not sure. Uh, mm. Good guess. No, but Pincher. Uh, Pincher. No, it's Ray Bradbury. Curiosity draws its electric power from a generator that sources heat from the radioactive decay of what element named after a dwarf planet? Uranium. No, no, no it's no, plutonium. plutonium. Oh, yeah, plutonium. Plutonium is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What six-letter word links all of these? A system of military organisation in the Manchu and later the Qing Empire, a nickname of County Clare in Ireland, and a song whose words were first published in 1814 as a broadside under the title Defence of Fort McHenry. Jesus K. Puppet. Anyone want to bust from St Catharines? Come on, it's an open goal. St Catharines Laskowski. Banner? Banner is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three questions on the director, Karen Kusuma. Which 2009 cult horror comedy by Kusuma stars Megan Fox as a high school student who becomes possessed by a demon after a local rock band subjects her to a ritual without her knowledge? Jennifer's Body. Yeah. Jennifer's Body. Jennifer's Body is correct. Kusuma directed the pilot episode of which US drama series? about a girls' high school football team who has stranded in the Canadian wilderness after a plane crash. Kusuma is also one of the series' executive producers. Any ideas? No. No, we don't know. That's Yellow Jackets. Kusuma's debut feature film, Girl Fight, was also the feature film debut of which US actor, whose roles since have included Letty Ortiz in the Fast and Furious franchise? Any ideas? Fast and Furious? It's not, um... Anna Di no, I don't think it's Anna Diarmas, but I don't think she's in Fast and Furious. Say? Anna Diarmas? No, it's Michelle Rodriguez. So we're going to take a music round now. If you're a music starter, you're going to hear a piece of music from an opera. For ten points, please name its composer. Jesus McGregor. Mascagni. Mascagni is correct. <laughs> you're a music starter. You heard the intermezzo from Mascagni's... Cavalleria Rusticana. Your music bonus is three more examples of intermezzi or instrumental interludes from opera. 
Name the composer of each first. Uh, Wagner. No, that was Puccini. It was from Manon Lescaut. Secondly. Wagner. <laughs> no, it's Samuel Barber, <laughs> Vanessa. And finally... Uh, Massonet. Massonet is correct, yes. Two. <laughs> Ten points for this. In quantum mechanics, what model describes interaction between a two-level system and an electromagnetic field? It was named after the Nobel Prize winner who originally proposed it in relation to his work in nuclear magnetic resonance. St. Catherine Spacey. Bohr? No. Anyone want to buzz from Jesus? Jesus K. Fermi? That's a Rabi model. Ten points for this. Its proponents, including Descartes and Leibniz, what concept has been defined as any philosophy magnifying the role played by unaided reason in the acquisition and justification of knowledge? Jesus McGregor. Rationalism? Correct. These bonuses are on road use protocols. September the 3rd, 1967 was known as H Day, standing for right hand traffic. In which country, when it changed from driving on the left to conform with the rest of mainland Europe? Sweden. Sure. Sweden. Sweden. Sweden is correct. In 2009, which country changed to left hand driving to enable the import of cheap cars from countries such as Australia and Japan? Its main islands are Upulu and Savai'i. Say Fiji? Fiji, perhaps? Uh, Fiji. No, it's Samoa. As of 2022, four European countries drive on the left. The UK, Ireland and which other two? Denmark? Malta. Um, it's probably Malta, one. Yeah. Uh, Cyprus, maybe? Sure. Uh, Malta and Cyprus. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. According to the equation sometimes known as Euler's formula, e to the power of i times pi is equal to what value? Jesus McGregor. Minus one. Minus one is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on medieval Wales. Noted for its role in preserving Welsh literature, the Abbey of Strata, Florida in Ceredigion was founded by which monastic order based in Burgundy? Um, the Augustine. Benedictine, Augustine. Benedict, are you sure? One of those. I don't think it's Benedictine. Augustine. No, it's Cistercian. Known as the Great, which Welsh prince spent his final days at the Cistercian Abbey of Aberconwy, where he died in 1240? I need a single regnal name. I think maybe Llewellyn. Llewellyn, yeah. Llewellyn. Llewellyn is correct. Situated on the Welsh bank of the river Wye, which former Cistercian Abbey is named in the title of a poem of the 1798 work Lyrical Ballads? Like Tintin Abbey. I was thinking Ross, but it's not that. Not sure. If, if you think Tintin Abbey is an actual place. Yeah, I think so. Tintin. Tintin is correct. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. A subject of the 1996 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, which 60 atom allotrope of carbon? St. Catherine Spacey. Buckminster Fullerene. Correct. These bonuses are on official names. Following the demise of a 240-year-old monarchy, which landlocked Asian country became a federal democratic republic in 2008? Um, <coughs> so, a landlocked Asian country... Um, Mongolia? Um, be, actually, yeah. yeah. Mongolia? No, it's Nepal. Oh. A little smaller than the UK, which sparsely populated Commonwealth country in the Americas declared itself a cooperative republic in 1970? Um, this could be Paraguay. It's landlocked. It's yeah. Like Paraguay? No, it's Guyana. Known formally as a People's Republic and similar in size to England, which populous Asian country gained independence in 1971? Bangladesh? Yeah. Bangladesh? Bangladesh is correct. Ten points for this. In what country is Ventus Rumba or Venta Rapid? often cited as being the widest waterfall in Europe. It is located in the town of Kuldiga. 
a former seat of the Dukes of Courland. St. Catherine Spacey. Germany. No, anyone want to buzz from Jesus? Jesus McGregor. Austria. No, it's Latvia. Ten points for this. What two words follow three places in to complete the title of an orchestral work by the US composer Charles Ives? The three places in question are Stockbridge, Boston Common and Reading, Connecticut. St. Catherine Spacey. Um, New England. New England is correct. You get a set of bonuses this time. On London, in each case, name the London borough whose electoral wards include the following. All three answers begin with the same letter. Firstly, Cricklewood and Mapesbury, Dollis Hill, Welsh Harp and Wembley Central. Brent. I think it's probably Brent. Brent. Yeah. Brent. Correct. Nice. Secondly, Erith, Crayford, Sidcap and Thamesmead East. And Bexley and... Is it, is it Bexley and Sidcup? I don't know. Bexley. Bexley is correct. And finally, Burnt Oak, Edgware, Mill Hill and Underhill. Uh, Barnet, I think. Barnet. Yes, Barnet. Barnet is correct. Well done. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture right now. For your picture start, you'll see a photograph of a pest and the damage it's wrought. For ten points, please give me its two-word common name. St Catherine Spacey. The Pine Weevil? No, anyone want to buzz from Jesus? Jesus McGregor. Termite? No, it's not. It's a Death Watch beetle. So we take the picture bonuses in a moment or two. Another starter question in the meantime. The subject of a play by Henrik Ibsen and a novel by Gore Vidal, which 4th century Roman emperor was known as the apostate? Uh, St Catherine's Laskowski. Julian? That is correct, yes. So you get the picture bonuses. We follow on from the wood-boring Death Watch beetle, which is often cited as one of the most bothersome pests for conservationists. With three picture bonuses, three pests identified among the five most trouble-causing by the National Trust. Five points for each you can name. Firstly... Moth. Yeah. Is that the, like, the pantry moth or something? Pantry moth. I don't know. I know. Anything? A pantry moth? No, that's the clothes moth. Secondly, um, this looks like bug. some kind of um, mite or something. It looks like it's on like the damage. Think damage. Yeah, it's not like a corn borer or something like that, is it? Corn borer? No, it's the common book louse. And finally, I guess it's something to do with books. Is that a silverfish? Oh, yeah, but, but 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 not. It's not a bookworm, is it? Because well, I think they're called words. silverfish, though, silverfish. aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Silverfish? They are called silverfish, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Named after a 19th century Swedish physicist, what unit of length is equivalent to one ten... Jesus Agarwal. Angstrom. Angstrom is correct. <laughs> right, these set of bonuses are on characters in Shakespeare's As You Like It. Identify each character from the description. Firstly, the daughter of Duke Senior. At the beginning of the play, she lives with her cousin Celia and Duke Frederick. I have no idea. No idea either. Jessica. Jessica. That's no, Rosalind. A young shepherd in love with Phoebe. He is said to dote on her like a Petrarchian lover. No. 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 <laughs> Peter. That's Silvius. A brooding, melancholy character. He meets Touchstone the Fool and wishes that he could be also witty and a fool. <laughs> no, sorry, we don't know. It's melancholy Jayquiz. Ten points for this. I need two answers promptly here. In addition to karate and sport climbing, which two other sports were contested for medals for the first time at the Olympic Games held in... Jesus Agarwal. Surfing and skateboarding. Surfing and skateboarding is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on the 1961 Nobel Prizes. Firstly, a joint recipient of the 1961 Physics Prize. Which German scientist gives his name to an effect, also known as recoil-free gamma-ray resonance absorption? It's not, it's not Cherenkov, is it? No, it's, no, no, it's not German. Um, Kazimir. Kazimir? No, it's Mossbauer. Awarded the Chemistry Prize in 1961, which US biochemist gives his name to a cycle 
also known as photosynthetic carbon reduction. Krebs. Sure. Krebs. That's Melvin Calvin. His works, including The Bridge on the Drina, the 1961 Literature Nobel laureate, Ivo Andrich, was a national of what former European country? Yugoslavia. Yeah. Uh, Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. The enhanced Fujita scale is used to classify instances of what phenomenon? Associated with wall clouds and supercell thunderstorms. Jesus McGregor. Lightning. No, you lose five points. St. Catherine Spacey. Thunder. No, it's tornadoes. Ten points for this. What small Hebridean island is the site of a monastery founded by St. Columba in 563 and a burial? St. Catherine's Partits. Iona. Iona is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on words that end with the Italian suffix etto. For example, amaretto or falsetto. Mm -hmm. Give each word from the description. Firstly, a tree with fan-shaped leaves that appears on the flag of South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Palmetto? Palmetto. Palmetto. Palmetto is correct. Secondly, known in French as autobus, the cluster of riders, often sprinters, at the back of a cycle race, whose sole aim is to finish the stage within the time limit. Any ideas? No, we don't know. That's a gruppetto. And finally, a musical direction faster than Andante, for example, the second movement of Beethoven's Symphony No. 7. Allegretto? Allegretto. Allegretto? Allegretto is correct. Ten points for this. 687 Earth days is the approximate time taken by what planet? Jesus K. Mars. Mars is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on bowlers who have taken 500 or more wickets in Test cricket. In August 2020, which England bowler became the first seamer and fourth bowler overall to take 600 wickets? He made his test debut in 2003 and achieved this feat after 156 matches. James Anderson. James Anderson is correct. Which West Indies fast bowler became the first to take 500 wickets, achieving this feat against South Africa in 2001? <laughs> and at the gong... St Catherine's Oxford have 105, but Jesus College Cambridge have 225. The answer to that last bonus question was, of course, Courtney Walsh. Well, bad luck, St Catherine's. I mean, you came and you played. What more can you ask? <laughs> Jesus, congratulations. 225 is a terrific score. You were on great form. You were stormy and you're going to be hard to beat. I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match, but until then, it's goodbye from St Catherine's College Oxford. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Jesus College, Cambridge. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>